Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a uh, box plot uh, with multiple variables in uh, one file. So something like this. And um, for that I'll be using uh, this data, so it's repeated measures in this case, using SPSS and the version I'm using is SPSS 26. Now the first and most important bit is we need to restructure the data so just to be safe it's good to actually save your data as a separate file I'm gonna call this save uh, save it as a long and I'm gonna override the version I already had there all right then uh, we're going to first restructure this data by using data and then select the restructure option then we select the first one next the uh, default the first one next move all the variables that you want to restructure to variables to be transposed and give it a name I'm gonna call this the score or you can call it the genre then we go for next and actually we only need to change one more thing here that we want to keep the variable names then next uh, this leave as is next I could hit just hit finish actually and I'm going to do that now and I'm going to get a new file where for each respondent now I have uh, four scores. Uh, the index shows for what the score was for that respondent and uh, this respondent gave thriller a six. So now for that box plot there are a few different ways. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, three that I'm aware of. Uh, you could go for graphs and then graph board template chooser and then simply select index and hold down control and select score and here's a box plot and simply click on OK and you should be getting a nice box plot uh, like this in your output. Another way of doing this is to go for graphs and then select the chart builder. Uh, you click on OK and what I need now is in the gallery I need to go for the box plot and select the simple version drag that into the preview area select the index that's going to have the categories and put that on the x-axis and the scores are going to be on the y-axis. Click on OK and you should get yourself that box plot again. The third option would be to go for uh, graphs and use the legacy dialogs and then simply select box plot and make sure you select simple and click on define move the grouping variable again to the category axis and the scores to the variable click on OK and you should be getting the exact same box plot now this video wasn't about how to read box plots it's only about how to create them uh, these should be your uh, minimum and maximum or the other way around sorry the minimum and the maximum unless uh, as for example here there's a so-called outlier this should be the median, so 25% of the scores fall in this range, 25% in this one, 25% in this one, and 25% in this one. But there's more to be said about box plots, and this was only about how to create them. Hope this video was helpful. 